What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today I'm going to be going over all 60 Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet that have an evolution method other than just leveling up. Throughout your Paldean journey, you're going to be experiencing a whole bunch of Pokemon, even from the very beginning of the game, that they're going to be in your party, and you're going to be like, I feel like you should have evolved by now. I know that was my experience the first time playing, and if my counting is right, which in editing, hopefully it is, I'm going to be going over all 60 Pokemon that have an evolution method other than just leveling up. This includes items, times of day, and very specific things. I'm first going to be covering all the Pokemon that we all know and love and have returned completely unchanged or slight mechanic changes, and then I'm going to be going over all of the new Pokemon and all of the new evolutions from old Pokemon. So if you're unfamiliar with Pokemon in general or you're just back to the games, there you go. If you're here for the juicy stuff, you know where to go. Great. I've organized this by the order of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet regional decks, so let's get on with it. Young Goose, it's level 20, but it's only during the day. Sunkern, it doesn't matter the level Sunstone. Combi, only the female can evolve, and it's any time over level 21. Happiny, doesn't matter the level, it needs the Oval Stone during the day. Chansey, level up with high friendship. Azuril, level up with high friendship. Igglybuff, level up with high friendship. Jigglypuff, you need to use a Moonstone, doesn't matter the level. Pichu, level it up with high friendship. Pikachu, use a Thunderstone. We are going to fly through these guys. Steeny, it needs to level up knowing the move Stump. Bonsly, it needs to level up knowing the move Mimic. Rockruff, level 25 during the day and you get Lycanroc day form. Level 25 at night and you get the night form. Hidden ability Rockruff with own tempo. Leveling up between 5 and 6 p.m. at level 25 or higher gives you dusk form Lycanroc. Actually, to be honest with you, I haven't tried Lycanroc yet because in order to get a hidden ability Rockruff to have own tempo and then, and then I don't know if it's actually 5 to 6 p.m. or if it's going to be in-game dusk time, sort of, you know, when the sky turns purpley a little bit. Petalil, Sunstone, Applin. If you use the Tart Apple, you get Flapple. If you use the Sweet Apple, you get Appleton. Mistrevious, Duskstone, doesn't matter the level. Crabrawler, it has changed slightly. You need to either be on the Snow Mountain, which is the giant snowy mountain, or now you can also use an Ice Stone. Salandit, level 33, but only the females. Floet, any level using the shiny stone. Riolu, high friendship during the day. Sligu, level 50, but only in the rain. Eevee, Flareon, Firestone, Jolteon, Thunderstone, Vaporeon, Waterstone, Leafeon, Grassstone. Level up high friendship during the day, Espeon. Level up high friendship during the night, Umbreon. Level up with high friendship knowing a fairy move, Sylveon. Is that all of them? Ice Stone Glaceon. Boom, that's all of them. Are there location-based evolutions for them? Glaceon, nope, there is no location for Glaceon and Leafeon to evolve. It is only with stones. That's, that's what the code looks like, I understand. Magneton, use a Thunderstone. Growlithe, use a Firestone. Murkrow, use a Duskstone. The 99% Phony Sinisty, you have to use a Cracked Pot. The 1% Authentic Sinisty, use a Chipped Pot. Fomantis, level 34, level up during the day. Scyther, you need to trade it holding a metal coat. Do we have confirmation of Scissor being in raids? Yes, Scissor can appear in five and six star raids. So if you have no one to trade with, you can obtain a Scissor in your game. Slowpoke, it evolves to Slowbro via level up, but for Slowking, you need to trade holding a King's Rock. Slowking appears in five star and six star raids. I didn't put it in the list, but Haunter to Gengar, you have to trade for it, but Gengar is also found in raids. I know five star, maybe also six star. Shelder, use a water stone. Electric, use an electric stone or thunderstone. <laughs> Snom, level up with high friendship during the night. Great, that's all the returning ones. Let's get into the new ones. Here are all of the Pokemon in Pokemon and Scarlet and Violet that require something other than just leveling up in order for it to evolve. This is the order I'm going through them. There are some of the new Pokemon that only require a quick mention and I'm gonna do that right now. For Belly Bolt, its first form, the, the Tadpole, I forgot its name, you just use a Thunderstone and then it evolves. 
For a Capsa Kid to Skull Villain, it needs to be level 30 and you use a Fire Stone. Graveart to Hound Stone, it needs to be level 30 at nighttime. Satoddle to Satitan, it needs to have an Ice Stone. And I've already covered Gimme Ghoul into Golden Go in a previous video. First one to talk about is Palmo, because I guarantee that you grabbed a Palmy and you were like, oh, this thing is adorable, I want to use it. And then you have this Palmo and it's just not evolving. The reason it's not evolving is because you're not loving it enough. And by that, I don't actually mean high friendship value. I mean that it runs on a new mechanic in these games. The new mechanic is the let's go feature, where you send a Pokemon out and they go and they battle on your behalf and they grab you items, so on and so forth. It doesn't require a lot of work. You don't need them to collect items. You don't need them to defeat any Pokemon during the let's go feature. All you have to do I like this town, I send out Palmo, and now all we do is we go for a run. The specific requirement is 1,000 steps. I just don't know how they calculate 1,000 steps. There we go, three laps. That's all you gotta do is three laps around this town circle and you can have your Palmo evolve into a Palmot. P-A-W-M-O-T, or maybe the T is silent and it's still pronounced Palmo. <laughs> Palmo's signature move is called Revival Blessing, and you get to revive one Pokemon in your party and restore half of its health. And you don't knock yourself out. So, very powerful move. Next up is going to be Tandemouse, who is one of my favorite Pokemon by far. Tandemouse is two mice. And Tandem Mouse can evolve into three mice or four mice. Mouse hold. Now there are two different forms of mouse hold. There is family of three and there is family of four. The differences are very obvious. It involves that one on the left who seems just very happy to be there. Mouse hold family of three's Pokedex entry says, the little one just appeared one day. They all live together like a happy family, but the relationship between the three is still unclear. But this actually tells you how it evolves, and for the first time ever in a Pokemon game, we have an off-screen evolution. Tandemouse will just evolve, and there's no screen for it or anything. So it has to be level 25, and I think this actually has to do with experience share. I'm gonna be using knockoff. I want you to pay attention to the bottom left of the screen. I'm probably gonna zoom in on it. And you're gonna see Tandem Mouse is there. It's two mice. It just leveled up to 25. It's now a family of four. It just happens. I think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> it just goes from a Tandem Mouse to a mouse hold. I want to test one thing about it though. Tandem Mouse leading the battle. All right, Tandem Mouse grew to level 25. Oh, there we go. Look at that. If Tandem Mouse participates in battle, it will have an evolution screen. That's neat. I kind of liked it more when it didn't have a screen. <laughs> Up next, we are going to be doing Primeape. Primeape from Generation 1 has a brand new evolution. It's unclear if this is a regional evolution or if this is now a new evolution based on a mechanic that was introduced in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Upon reaching level, whatever level I am now, you can learn the move Rage Fist, which is going to be the signature move of Primeape. And what you have to do is you need to use Rage Fist in battle 20 times. It has 10 PP, so it's kind of easy to track. This is similar to the mechanic in PLA that you had to use a certain uh, move agile or strong style a certain amount of times. But now, since that specific mechanic is gone, now it's just use the move 20 times. Oh, Primeape doesn't listen to me. I traded it to my other game to level it up because it was just like a level 12 Mankey. If you level it up in another game, it's not gonna listen to you. I need one more badge. Hang on, I'll be right back. This is weird. I went to the normal gym and my first time doing it, I did the normal gym kind of like in the right order, but now it's my third gym. And before, Nimona challenged me after the gym, and now she's challenging me before the gym. So are the interactions with my rival dynamic? Gyms themselves are not dynamic? This is interesting. 
If you want to experience this on your own, just fast forward five seconds. If you are stuck on this, there you go. Okay, great. So let's do Rage Fist 20 times. I just did the, the fist, the fisting, the fist move 20 times. And now all he needs is one level. Unlike Pokemon Legends Arceus, for those of you who pronounce it that way, you don't have the option to just click on a Pokemon and have them evolve. So any evolution like that before, you now also have to do the additional step of add one level. Annihilate, one of the coolest. Anyways, on to the next one, and it's another one that's gonna take me a while. Cool, this is Char Cadet. Char Cadet is the first form of Cerule Edge and Armor Rouge, who are version exclusive items. Similar to how Applin worked back in Sword and Shield, which by the way, now you get both of Applin's items in stores, Armor Rouge's and Cerule Edge's items are version exclusive. You're gonna speak to this person right here in this town of Zapapaco. Sure, let's go with that, Zapapaco. You're gonna speak to this person here. If you are playing Pokemon Scarlet, they're going to want 10 drops from Bronzor and Bronzong. If you are playing Pokemon Violet, they're going to want 10 drops of Sinistee. After you get those Sinistee chips, you're gonna come over here, speak to this person, and then they're going to be giving you the appropriate armor. In Pokemon Scarlet, the 10 Bronze Ore drops get you an auspicious armor. In Pokemon Violet, the 10 Sinistee drops get you malicious armor. Bronze Ore is available pretty much anywhere, not hard to find at all around ruins. But Sinisty is only located in two places. One is right outside of this town and very infrequently. Or if you're a high enough level, you can come to the Psychic Town over here and literally this entire field is just flooded with Sinisty. In addition, if you find a mass outbreak, those give you the drops that you need as well. So between these locations, get yourself the 10 Sinisty drops for this trade. I've already done this. I've just been showing you old footage in the background. Next, we have Dunsparce, who can evolve to D Dunsparce. Dunsparce's evolution is not difficult at all. At level 32, Dunsparce is gonna be learning the move Hyper Drill. And if you teach it Hyper Drill on that evolution, on that move learn screen, then you are going to be getting yourself a D Dunsparce. If it already knows the move and it is a Dunsparce, all it needs is one additional level for it to evolve. D Dunsparce has two different forms. One is called the two segment form and the other is called the three segment form. There is a one out of 25 chance that your Dunsparce will evolve to a De Dunsparce three segment form. De Dunsparce can be found later in the game. I don't know if you can find its three segment form. I have been able to find Mousehold Family of Three in raids. I took a break for lunch and now I'm back. Next up is going to be Giraffe Rig for him to evolve into Farigaraffe. Giraffe Rig at level 32 can learn the move Twin Beam. It functions pretty much the same way that Dunsparce's evolution to D Dunsparce does. As long as it knows the move and then you give it one level, it will evolve from Giraffe Rig into Farigaraffe. Up next is going to be the Tumbleweed Pokemon, Bramblin. How do you think a Tumbleweed evolves? It needs to tumble. After three laps, all we need to do is go into our inventory and give our little Tumbleweed boy one level. So happy to be a dead Tumbleweed. Next up is gonna be Relor, who is the Dung Beetle. And for him... Okay. For the dung beetle, I understand. For the tumbleweed, yeah, 100%. But why Palmo? And with the slowest three laps ever complete, it's gonna be time to give him, give him a level. And here we go, this is Relor evolving to Rabska. That's not the shiny, that's just the way it looks. Oh, it also learns Revival Blessing, just like Palmo. Now is going to be time for two of the most difficult ones of this game. This is kind of like your Runer Regus level of evolutions. The first of the two difficult ones is going to be for Finizen. Finizen to evolve to Palafin, you have to have a pal, a friend, a person who is more than an acquaintance, 
It could just be an acquaintance. The game's not gonna gatekeep you on that. All you have to do is go to Union Circle, form a group. If you're gonna be doing it online with friends, then you do it online with friends. If you're going to be doing it locally with your local friends, you could do that. Or if you're like me, you don't have any local friends, so then you're just gonna pull up your other game and your other Switch, and then you're gonna go to the portal, and then you're gonna do it there. You only need one, you don't need two. I feel like this is the Spider-Man meme of just three Austin Johns all pointing at each other. All you need to do is give it one level. So it needs to be level 38. After it becomes level 38, he's just gonna hop out and evolve right in front of you. And all of your friends can watch. Why isn't it showing up? It's supposed to show up. <laughs> I've done this before and it did show up. Roll the old footage. Yeah, you're supposed to see the, the animation there, but for some reason we didn't see it. And then it gets its new signature move, Flip Turn. Oh, by the way, this is the shiny, and you probably are wondering what's going on because it doesn't look any different at all. Palafin's ability is called Zero to Hero. This Pokemon transforms into its hero form when it switches out. Flip Turn is kind of like a water type U-turn. The Pokemon then goes back into your party. And as you're gonna see now, I'm now in hero form. And here is Palafin. In its hero form. It underwent a heroic transformation. It evolves at level 38 because the first issue of Action Comics that included Superman was in 1938. The whole concept is Clark Kent, who witnesses what's going on, disappears, and then Superman comes back. That's what that's modeled after, and I kind of really like that. What's left? Oh, it's this one. Okay. North Province Area 2 is going to be the location that we don't have to be. You might have to be, but you should be. So this is the Bamboo Forest. Your frame rate here is not going to be good. If you have the option, I definitely recommend doing this in handheld mode. And it's going to be for Bisharp, for Bisharp's new evolution. This is also playing off of a new mechanic in the game called Pack Spawns. As you probably noticed, sometimes Pokemon spawn by themselves, like this Scyther and this Heracross over here. But sometimes Pokemon will spawn in a small circle either of the same species, previous evolution of, this Luxray that showed up with all these Shinks, that is a Pax Spawn. Not the official name, it's just what I'm calling it, because it makes a lot of sense. You have to be in this one part of the world, and you have to find a Pax Spawn of Bisharp. If you see a single Bisharp by itself, that will not do. It has to be a Bisharp who spawns in a pack of- So, as you're gonna see over here, there's a Bisharp in the back, surrounded by a pack of Porn Awards. I don't think I'm high enough level to do this right now. I'm gonna try though. Hi, it's Future Austin. There's actually new information about this since I worked on the video yesterday. Okay, so the Bisharp that is going to be here has a held item called the Leader's Crest. You do not have to obtain the Leader's Crest from one of these Bisharp, but with your own Bisharp, who doesn't have to hold the item, has to defeat three of these Bisharp who are holding the item. And the only Bisharp who are holding the item are the ones who spawn in a pack. It's unclear if the pack spawn of a different species, meaning that one Bisharp surrounded by Shanks or something, will effectively be guaranteed to hold that item, but I can guarantee you that a Bisharp surrounded by a pack of porn awards is going to be having that leader's crest. So again, to recap, you can have your own Parnivore that you evolve to Bisharp, or catch a Bisharp who is or isn't holding the leader's crest, and then that Bisharp needs to deliver the final blow to three Bisharp who spawn in a pack who is holding the leader's crest. If you're unsure if it's holding a leader's crest, you could use a Pokemon with Frisk to double check it, something like that. After that point, if you didn't gain a level after defeating your third, then just give it a single level, and then it will evolve into its final form, which is King Gambit. So he has massive hair that he then sits on, an enormous blade on his head, and then he's just he's just waiting to make a move. He's, he's, he's pretty awesome. Well, there you go. That is all the non-level only evolutions in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I hope you found it helpful. I have a feeling you did. 
some of these were confusing some people for a while, let's say that. Guys, thank you so much for being here. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. Man, they see me shining like I got the charm. Stay strapped, got that jet ball in my palm. Fell from the sky, guess I'm the chosen one. And if you need to know how, check out Austin John. Champion flow, flow. Yeah, I got that champion flow, flow.